Today on Mrs. Carter, I am showcasing my sister's Afrocentric contemporary new home. Her decor for the living room and her bedroom were created by Modsi. So we're going to view the previous owner's home and then see the improvements or changes my sister has made throughout the home with Afrocentric inspired design and fabrics. Mod C works directly with clients virtually. You submit a picture of your space and then they will provide the inspiration. They will give you a link to help you locate the artifacts for said room. And here are the suggestions made by Modsi to my sister. And you will notice many of these same pieces throughout her home. Here is the reveal with a compare of the previous owner and my sister's contemporary Afrocentric design. Note, my sister purchased this house sight unseen based on the recommendation of me and my husband. We saw the house and I knew this was the home for her. She is walking in her purpose has her dream job and now she has her dream home and with her dream decor what we're going to I'll be pointing out certain areas with artifacts she already had and what Modsi suggested she get there is the rug and the table the carpet was padded there's space and room enough for her dog and her teenage daughter Look at this rug, Afrocentric inspired, contemporary, gorgeous, nice fabrics, the mud cloth, many of the smaller items and artifacts she found on Wayfair, Amazon. I loved the plantation shutters. That's what made me love this home and the padded carpet. But look at this mud cloth. She also used um, overstock and, excuse the truck, overstock, Wayfair, and home goods. Home goods. There's the dream catcher in the corner. Modsi recommended three shelves. Kaifa used two. Look at this lamp. Amazing. Just amazing. You'll notice all of the artwork that I point out, I'm saying that we've had in the family for more than 40 years. The built-in shelves are perfect for a professor who has lots and lots of books. This is what the living room looked like previously. Gorgeous, well done for an older couple. And my sister came in and hired Modsi and was able to transition what they recommended to reality there's that mirror there's the two of them and the dog let's go down this hallway there are three bedrooms here is a basement but we'll visit that later here is the first bedroom off to the right with the bay windows and plenty of excellent light i think when i saw this room i said this is perfect for my sister it can be an excellent office and she agreed Oh my God, look at the rug. And she's got a wonderful throw blanket. Again, great vaulted ceilings, good natural light, and those plantation shutters. She's got your Patreon, Patreon uh, exercise mirror. This is where she works out. And her office desk to the left. That's been in our family for over 60 years. And of course, we're members of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. The African inspired pillow. She found these on her own and this awesome, beautiful white couch. What a great find with nice clean legs.
to kind of make this room feel more spacious against this very bright and bold carpet, which works well in this room with plenty of natural light. this house would work for her because of the built-in shelves and she agreed for all of her books files and her accolades yes she is a doctor we are very very proud of her you go down the hall it's just she and her daughter there um, lots of great pictures that's that light fixture that modesty um, suggested and so she did it throughout the house makes the hallway seem brighter the second bedroom, that's my niece, Asha. I love her. Second bedroom, previous owners had two twin beds. Look at that. Great light, plantation shutters, a whole curio in the corner, ample space. I said, this is perfect for my sister. This is how it looked prior to decorating. A vaulted, a lifted bed, uh, a seat for Papa, a recliner. And there's a TV in there that she fluctuates between the kitchen and the guest bedroom and a nice rug. Previous owner's master bedroom. Are you guys ready? Again, she was in Colorado. I knew this house was made for her. This is an awesome master bedroom. These African inspired plates, comforter, and bedding were all recommended by Matsi with a, count, a bench at the end of the um, bed. The, uh, guest bathroom for the guest bedroom. Beautiful mirror. I said, this is perfect. This is perfect for my parents when they come to visit her. She made the offer without ever seeing it. Me and my husband came up. We looked at it. We said, this is it. Here is her master bedroom. A bench at the foot. Look at this. Look at this rug. Look at it. Perfect. Perfect space. A new end table that she got. Her sheets are bamboo. Contemporary new home inspired by Motsi. Is it not just gorgeous? Look at these breathable sheets. I love the detail in this bench. Good piping and the legs even uh, are inspired by an African design that you'll see often in African furniture. You guys, she nailed it. Look at the pillows. She found those pillows and she had these plates already in her collection for years and it worked again Matsi um, was the consultant on Kaifa's living room and her bedroom so you can see the table they suggested and she found or purchased um, she mounted her TV be sure to look at the rug her chase lounge comforter pillows and um, the testimony is the baskets that they recommended from Modsi, Kaifa already had in her collection. Even the, even the pillow, the dog's pillow is inspired by African fabrics, prints, and design. Oh, it's just so beautiful. She did such a great job. Here is the coup de grace. This chair is everything. Look at the pattern on this pillow. But look at the fabric on this chair. What a great find to complement her African inspired bedroom. Uh, look at that. Yes. And what a great throw. What a great throw by Rachel Zoe. Okay, you guys. The previous owner's bathroom.
Again, all artwork's been in the family for over 40 years, and it worked in this bathroom. A more plantation shutters, a walk-in shower. I knew this was the perfect next step in her life. She is walking in her purpose. She got her dream job. She now has her dream house, and it's decorated with amazing African-inspired artwork, um, furniture, and decor. You can't ask for more better space in the bathroom. Two closets and a walkway to your deck, a, a jacuzzi tub, and a walk-in shower, and then turn to your left and you've got ample space for your um, double sink, double vanity, shelving she put in. It's perfect. It was perfect for her. I am so proud of her. I hope you guys like her home as well. I think she's done an outstanding job. Check out Modsy in the link below and get a room done today. This is the freaking contemporary new home tour inspired by Modesty. The previous owner left this kitchen step stool. Everyone's had one. What a great treat. I thought that was very nostalgic. Look at the backyard. Bird feeder, fountain. I knew this was the house for her and it's perfect for her spirit. It called her name. How serendipitous of us to even engage in this project of choosing a house for your sister. Sight unseen, she purchased it. And look how well she decorated. Red and white inspired pillow for Delta, but also a little bit of African flair still there. Uh, this door leads back into the den. Again, plantation shutters. So it's combination of contemporary, but Afro contemporary. There's another painting, plants. Look at the space and the carpet. The carpet was padded. I thought this was the best, best purchased for her. I had to vlog her new home. Look at the pillows. Monsi did very good. All of this, some things she found on her own in keeping with rhythm once somebody gives you an idea, but look at that pillow. And she works on her paper. She's got her dog. There she is. There's her beautiful daughter. I've got the built-ins, I got the art decor on the wall. When, well, when you and you guys were gone, Marlo was just, I, I was, Marlo was right here and looking at me. <laughs> no, now to the kitchen, now to the kitchen. This is how it looked previous. 
previously the previous owner's kitchen of course was uh staged but still beautiful nonetheless uh it had space for a double refrigerator had double oven double ovens which i thought was perfect especially when you're coming to your forever home good archway and sunlight um the counter space was very important i wanted her to be able to have a bar this table came straight from colorado with her and it fit this space this was i called marley's home the dog i thought would hold on to this space she could watch drink her coffee and watch tv in the sunroom off of the kitchen and it worked kaifa turned it into a beautiful sitting space right off the kitchen with the built-in look at the built-ins more built-ins for all her many 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 books and as you see there's a dog bed but that's where the tv would go but it's currently in papa's bedroom a great uh, coffee table or tv stand beneath the tv there they are gorgeous as they are blessings to this home blessings to this family this african inspired contemporary design in this home every piece of furniture transitioned into this afrocentric contemporary home perfectly her african contemporary african dream home contemporary african designed dream home just it worked y'all can you believe the testimony it worked it's just what she wanted and those plantation shutters are what sold me in that padded carpet look at the beautiful family dog even has a bed i tell you i tell you look look i think i mentioned it earlier that it had Double ovens, that was a selling point. Stainless steel appliances. But this right here, this bread cabinet and a little storage area. I love that. I said, she's gonna, she's gonna scream. She didn't scream about that, but I did. Nonetheless, I knew it was a good find. This is Asha's space. You guys were going down. This house had a basement. A basement, you guys. Just what the two of them needed. A separate quarters for her teenager this is how the previous owner uh, uh outfitted the basement good p carpet good light great shutters great space that's over about 800 square feet down there so let's go down and see what kaifa and asha did with the basement it's a teenager's room let's see you guys all right we love the flag what a great chair good lighting oh my god they nailed it look at this space oh oh i'm so proud of you what a great space what a great desk look at the dream catchers what a great piece of contemporary painting this is her own feel her own vibe her thing this is her space what a great find what a great house that have, gives the teenager their own space apart from the mother's african inspired contemporary design upstairs you can see the tomato bushes a record player oh my god with a built-in in the corner perfect yes i love it oh look at this space that she created is that Taylor Swift? I think it is. Is that Adele? I think it is. What great music selections. What a great idea. A way to hang albums. Perfect. We're bringing albums back? Is that what's going on here? We're bringing albums back? 
I love these built-ins. She says she can get them from Amazon. I'll be sure to leave that link below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so you can get them right from our Amazon store. We'd love for you to do that. And anything you see here. But of course, you can still use Modsy, who Kaifa used to help decorate her home to give it the Afro contemporary adult sexy edition feel. That's my girl, Taylor Swift. I know I don't haven't listened to my first Taylor Swift album until about three years ago, and now I'm hooked. I call it popcorn music, but she is the best. She is the best. Very gifted songwriter. But let's talk about this blanket that the album covers are sitting on. I remember when Asha ordered it. She ordered her own comforter. They were so excited about this move. Starting new. Look at this wall calendar. Built-in shelves. Closet. This is what it looked like before, you guys. And she turned it into a royal palace teenage style. Look at that chase. Double built-ins. I'm sorry, not built-ins. A little bookcase with a TV. The previous owner had wallpaper. My sister went out on a limb, hired a painter, and they boom pow. Boom pow. Walk-in shower for my niece. What a great find. I'm not bragging on myself. I'm bragging on the the power of the ancestors and the gods to make this all come together. And that it's her dream home. And they painted it blue. She's got her own sink, space. There's a plant. There's a clock. There's a laundry basket. It's perfect. Look at the rug. Mima, my mother, made this for Asha when she was like a about three years old. Oh, my niece is a black belt. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at all her belts. Asha rolling. Yes. Yes. I'm so proud of her. All the shelves right here, the little shelves, the little um, cubicles, Amazon, laundry, ba so neat, so work. Girl, I wish I could add that many clothes. Oh, well done, well done. Good padded carpet. It's perfect, gosh. And a ceiling fan. I hope you've enjoyed our African contemporary new home tour inspired by Modesty. Say thank you for thank coming. You. You gotta wave again. Thank you for coming. <laughs>